This is Eternal Blade, and welcome to part 59 of the Orc Gunwagon Tutorial. Alright, so, uh, let's do this one. Local, so I'll move it up. Move it up twice. Rotate this one down a bit. Okay. Move it over. Rotate till it's straight. And then copy it a few times. Okay, then rotate. Okay, copy. Okay, so rotate it once more up. Now copy. Right, rotate it downward. Copy. Rotate. Copy. And rotate. Copy. Twice. And then rotate. Copy, rotate so it's flat, and then just bring it down a bit, okay, and we're a bit off, of course, but all that means is we have to do is grab all these, where are we intersecting? Grab these and just push them a bit. Oops. Then release. Push a bit. Deselect. Uh, push a bit. Deselect. Push a bit. Deselect. And push that one a bit in. I don't even it up enough so you can't really see it. And there we go, we have some nice tracks. And if you want to rig them, there are uh, quite a few tutorials online about that. Uh, the best way that would be create a spline in the shape of this, then go to animation constraints, uh, then. Actually, no. You go. In here and there should be like a follow or something like that. Whatever it is, you use it and then it follows the spline. You can type in the number of tracks that you want. But uh, this is good for our purposes, so it's going to be a still vehicle anyway. And uh, go to just like this. Actually. The left hand view here. Select all of that. Go to the front view. Then deselect all of that. Deselect all of that. Select that. Then hide unselected. Okay. Go back into perspective here. And uh, hide these two. And looks good. Just make sure you don't have anything. Just move this up. Look around. Press Control Z. Bring it back. Select everything. Deselect that. And um, you're going to want to copy it on the view. Copy. Okay. And it messed up, of course. Okay, um... All 
Alright, uh, after some experimentation, the only way to do it is oops, uh, select all of this, mirror on the X, and then we're going to have to move uh, everything individually. So, let's see, select all that, and just move it to the middle. Yeah, move to the middle and select all of this, minus that, and move that to the middle as well. Select this, move it to the middle. Alright, go into the perspective. Select this, front, oops, and move it. So that it is right about there, I think. Just a little more inward or outward, sorry. Okay. I'm going to use the perspective view. Make sure everything looks like it lines up good. Here we have a problem. Select this. Actually select all of these. Put out. And then just sync these things back in. Good. Select everything again. Okay, and then just stick that right back on. Make sure it's not touching the wall. So move it back a bit more. There we go. We have tracks on both sides now. Plus a little drive thing, I guess. And actually for these, I think I'm going to attach them together. And then I'm going to select all the polygons on both sides and bridge it. Actually, no. What I'm going to do is select that edge and that edge. Connect once. And then select that edge and that edge, connect once, polygon, polygon, and bridge, just to give it a little thickness. Um, hmm. Yeah, those are nice. They took a while. But. So, let's uh, select this edge here. And just... Just chamfer it once. And do the same for this edge back here. Okay. And let's see. Okay. Um let's unhide everything for a second. Okay, um, select everything, give it the gray material, okay. Make it black, okay. Deselect it. Deselect. Takes a while because recording uh, is memory intensive. Zoom in a bit and let's do a uh, test render. Render and pause. Alright, uh, that'll be it for part 59. I'll see you in part 60, where we'll begin the uh, guns and canopy.